This is Anne from Lolly and Grace, and today I'm going to show you how to transfer an embroidery pattern onto fabric using your inkjet printer. The supplies you'll need are your pattern printed onto an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, a piece of cotton fabric that you've pre cut, spray adhesive, and some clear tape. This is going to be a little bit different because before, I, when I have done this, I have always done patterns that fit into smaller hoops. In other words, hoops that were either three, four, or maybe six inches across. But this pattern fits an eight inch hoop. And the difference in that is that the, the fabric needs to be wider than the eight and a half width of the paper. So this fabric I have cut to 10 and a half inches square and I'll show you in just a little bit how I'm going to make that go through the printer. So now I'm going to take this, I'm going to go outside, spray a very light coating of the spray adhesive onto one side of the fabric, making sure it's evenly covered, but a very, very light coating of that. So I'll be back in just a minute. All right, so now I'm back. Here's my fabric. This side is sticky, the other side is not. And this is the only part that's a little bit tricky. I'm going to place this fabric on the paper, sticky side down, lining it up so that there is about a half an inch of paper showing at the top and the bottom and that the fabric overlaps the sides about an inch. So I'm going to lay it down like that, press it down. I'm a little off, but that's okay. I have a little less paper down here, but that's all right. Now I'm going to smooth the fabric down onto the paper so there's no wrinkles. I'll flip it over. Press it down. Now I'm going to fold over these edges and press them down. Like that. Same thing on this side. Get all the wrinkles out. Like that. And now before you put it in your printer, you're going to want to tape the raw edges, the edge along here and here and along the back with your tape. So I'm going to do that on the front. I'm actually going to snip this little bitty stray thread. And now I'm going to seal up that raw edge of fabric on both the top and the bottom. This is so that as it goes through your printer, those little stray threads won't get caught on the rollers in the printer and jam up the paper and ruin your printer. And do the same thing on the back these raw edges. Make sure they're all covered up and there's no tape hanging over the sides for the same reason. Make sure I get these little edges top and the bottom. All right, and now I am ready to run it through my printer. Make sure that you know which direction to put the paper in my particular printer. The side that I want printed goes down and it'll come through the printer that way. All right. So I'm going to go print it and I'll be back in just a minute. All right. So here we are with the printed fabric. It's still on the paper. 
You can see that um, as it went through the printer towards the bottom, uh, it kind of wrinkled the paper a little bit, but that's okay. Um, it doesn't really matter. First of all, it's not even on the part that's going to be stitched. And once I take it off, I can iron those out later. Well, one thing to remember um, is that you, you can print your patterns at 100% opacity so that they're completely black. But I like to print or I like to stitch on lines that aren't really, really black. So for my patterns, I've already made it the correct color, but if you have a pattern that's just already black and white, you can reduce the opacity of the pattern to maybe 50 or 60% so that it's not a really, really dark black line. Let's see if you can tell on this one that it's not necessarily completely dark black, but you can see how nicely the, the line's printed. So now what's left for me to do is to take the tape off and this part is a little bit tedious. Once you get it going, it's not too bad, but getting it going is a little bit tricky. So I will not bore you. I will speed this process up for the video. All right, so now you can see here is my printed fabric. The back, if you sprayed a light enough coating of glue, the, the back may feel just slightly tacky, but if you let it sit for just a little bit, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, that will kind of dry and go away, and it should not be a problem. If you've gunked on the glue so much, it might stay stickier than you want, but that's why I tell you to do a very, very light application. Now I can put this in my hoop. I can iron it a little bit if I want. I'm going to let that glue dry before I do that or let that glue residue go away if, if I were to iron it. And I would definitely use a press cloth on my iron before I did that. So that was how to transfer an embroidery pattern onto fabric using your printer.